First of all, create new template in Elementor and choose its type as section. Select number of columns which you need. You can also add or remove any column, for this click on column icon with right click of mouth. You can change width of any column when you drag borders of column. Now, it's time to add themes elements. Choose theme element module and place it on page. By default, it shows logo which you add in theme options, but you can also use image module to place logo if you need. Now, place another module and select menu type. Let's add wishlist icon now. Wishlist function will work only if you add link to your page where you placed wishlist shortcode. If you don't have such page, create it and place their shortcode. You can add also labels to icon. Now, let's add also comparison icon and card icon. By default, all elements in Elementor are full width, but this is not what we need. So, go to Advanced tab and choose Inline Width. Now, you can choose Proper Align in Column Options or in Section Options. Do the same for all elements. You can also add some margins for element if you have several elements in one column. There is simple way to copy styles for element. Click right mouse button and choose to copy, then paste styles on another element. Save template and let's see what we have. Some elements have additional settings. For example, menu has option to choose topography and colors. You can also add background to each column or to whole section. Don't forget to change menu colors and icon colors if you use dark background. Let's see how our template looks on smartphones. Oh my god, it's totally crap. So, we need to build another layout for smartphone. For this, choose to hide our main section on smartphone, and create new section which we will hide on desktop and show on smartphones. Add elements and lines which you need for your template for smartphones. Instead desktop menu, we will add sliding menu.
By default, all columns have full width on smartphones, but we want to keep them as 30% width, so, set this width for each column. If you want to have more space for logo, add more width to central column. It looks like everything is working as we want, so, it's time to save template and return back to admin dashboard. Now, copy shortcode of our template, then, go to Veeam Options, and enable Clean Header Layout in Veeam Option Header and Menu Option. Then, paste shortcode of template in Veeam Option Code Zones Header Zone. We can also make our header as full width instead of boxed version. Simply enable this option in section settings of your template. You can see also such weird style glitches when Elementor loads its custom styles. You can fix this by using custom cache modules like AutoOptimize or enable inline style loading in Elementor settings. If you don't have plans to update your menu very often and you don't have mega menu items in your menu, you can use special cache template shortcode instead regular shortcode. Also, if you build your responsive menu in Elementor, don't enable compact header option in theme options because it will overwrite template of Elementor. But, in the same time, you can add options for sliding panel, 